order signed by the Israeli state. More than a hundred volunteers arrived that day, including Christian, Muslim, and Jewish religious leaders. Reverend Isaac Munter was there. A Bedouin Muslim leader was there, Sheikh Hussein, who had family members taken hostage on October 7th and who had family members perish in the bombing in Gaza. Knesset member Ofer Kassif was there, and the previous time he had been at al makur the soldiers had injured him and he still came back. And members of rabbis for, human, uh, rabbis for Human Rights were there. We sang protest songs and we marched to the edge of the Kisiyah's land, where stood IDF soldiers and tanks. We sat down on the ground, blocking the soldiers' entry, and sang and chanted for over an hour, when finally the soldiers threatened to bring out their stun guns and tear gas. The Kisia family said enough is enough and asked us to march back peacefully to the solidarity tent. The soldiers destroyed that tent the next day, out of the sight of protesters and press, but little did they know that the solidarity tent extends all the way to New York City. During our trip, Israel escalated its invasion into the Northern West Bank. American peace activist Eisenhower Agee was shot dead as our delegation made our way back home. Israel is now bombing Gaza, Lebanon, Yemen, and Syria. But the Kisia family continues to expand their fight for a free Palestine across the globe. They grieve, but their grief is their power. To not grieve is to lose one's humanity. When I met Alice, she told me this, and she asked us. She said that she was, her family is using social media to make the fight global, and I'm just so happy that what was words just a few weeks ago is real, it's, fru it's in fruition. And this is a solidarity tent of love and I'm so, so proud to be with you. I end now with a prayer from my Hindu tradition. And the last time I chanted this prayer, our delegation was at the southern border to Gaza. And as we shared our prayers, we heard airstrikes across the border. This is a prayer to honor grief, a prayer to honor the Kisia family and all Palestinians resisting these atrocities, a prayer to Lord Shiva, the God of destruction and also regeneration, because neither can be avoided, both are inevitable. A prayer of hope and renewal after this unbearable carnage. Trayambakam yajamahe Sukandhim pushti vardhanam Urvarukamiva vandana Mrityor mukshiya mamrita